said. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, what happened there? I What's up, everybody? I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on Race Room, and I'm going to explain why here in a minute. Race Room here for Little Up BMW GT4 Racing. We're starting in the sixth position. Let's get to it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's go racing. We're here talking about race room with the big COVID quarantine and everybody staying home and racing. The developers of race room have made race room 100% free for you to try. Now, race room is a free to download, free to play game, but most of the content and the cars you have to buy. So, for the track and stuff like that. So, we are here today in the GT4 M4s, which is car the one drive for a very long time, and apparently I'm getting walked on to that section. Because as of right now, oh, race room is 100% free. All the cars, all the tracks, the developers have made it free for you guys on Steam to download. You guys can download race room oh, and get into your own sim racing experience yourself. It's a good chance to try race room out, see if you like it. Definitely, we would recommend the wheel for sure. But to get a chance to try this very, very great an amazing race game. I've played it a little bit here and there, but I've never played it a lot. Oop, down should be because I didn't have any of the cars and I didn't want to spend all that money on all those cars. But now with the whole quarantine and the COVID-19, which, you know, we gotta, we gotta, you know, take this with a little bit of, you know, respect with everybody that is working. Oh, we got some cars wrecking. We're gonna get past there. Woo! We made it through there clean because I am actually still on my normal daily grind working as a BMW tech but you know I get a lot of humor when people comment on my video one about when I built the handbrakes you know saying I'm not scared of the coronavirus because I got a corona sitting there right on the desk but you know we gotta have a little bit of humor with this because well it is happening and it's a it's a it's a big thing and you know if people you know need to have a little bit of respect for people that are working but you know developers of race room have given everybody the chance to bust into the sim racing world and see if you like it for free until further notice all the content is free so make sure you go to steam download race room for yourself give it a shot i've actually played it a little bit before but never got a chance like i said to play all the cars i really wanted to try apparently i probably should turn these ai down some because well they're uh they're creeping up on me. So like I said, we're just doing a little sprint race just to give you guys a look at the game. We will be going to take a look at all the cars and stuff like that here before the episode ends. Probably won't finish this entire 10 lap sprint because, oh, I know a lot of people don't like hanging around, watching a lot of racing. That was a very, oh, that was a very bad time to go out. Well. Ah, uh, that's my race from experience so far. A dented up hood. Definitely shouldn't have came out in the traffic like that. That guy's missing a headlight. But, well, I can't see over the hood through that section of the course. I think we're going to switch it up maybe to third person view here. Take a look in the third person aspect of the game. It's definitely a very amazing looking game, the graphics, the damage modeling, the details and everything in this game is incredible. I would highly recommend giving this a chance yourself, so make sure you go into the Steam and download and give it a shot. Like I said, developers made it all free, they're doing nighttime events with the devs and stuff like that. And you know, you can do some ranked races and race against people of your own caliber and stuff. So. I've been doing a lot of R-Factor 2, I have damage, I definitely cannot take these turns as fast as I should. These guys can creep up behind me, I know that. That downshift beep sounds like a watch. It means I'm just trying to downshift sooner than the car wants to. Oh, there's 
way off course. At Turner Motorsports BMW definitely beating me on that one. So you guys know I've been doing a lot of R Factor and stuff like that. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about what my plan is here for the next few months. So with everybody staying home and everything like that, I'm gonna be striving to bring some great content for you guys and a lot of you guys wanna see modeling content and stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be doing a full series for you guys, but I'm going to do my best to bring you guys quality and meaningful content in the next uh, few weeks and months here to come, especially with everybody staying home and everything like that. I feel like quality content that gives you guys a reason to come back every single day, not sporadically around like I have have been doing recently, which is, you know, okay to sporadically post videos about this, that, and the other thing, but I feel like maybe a series is in order for the next coming weeks. <laughs> Took that way too strong. Uh, maybe a series, maybe, whether it be a racing series, doing a certain championship and certain type of cars, a drifting series about drifting random tracks with a random number generator on a Google Doc. So... I've been pondering the idea of going to the Google Doc that has 200 and some tracks on it and using a number generator and randomly selecting a track for that day and just going out there and drifting that track, not knowing anything about it. It might be a track I've already drifted if I already have it, but if I download it, download it, get some of my friends involved in it. Yeah, I have no, no front downforce. So we are all over the track right now. We're not last though. So, definitely very interesting and need to get used to the physics of the game. But I will be able to do that here in the upcoming days and stuff like that. Still going to be doing some live streams. My 12 hours of Sebring live stream that I have planned for this weekend is going to be postponed with some of my friends that were driving. Not really, I wouldn't say not able to come over. But uncomfortable about hanging out, you know, with the whole social distancing thing with COVID-19. So, respecting my friend's wishes and everything like that, we're going to be doing it another day. And with the actual season guys canceled, until further notice, it's, you know, not that big of a, a deal. So, we are going to be doing it, but I will be doing some online racing and stuff like that with them as well. Just, oh my... Kind of fighting back here for 23rd. A little bump in my uh, IMSA M4. So I do highly recommend taking advantage of this opportunity to try this racing game out if you enjoy racing or if you want to see if sim racing is something you enjoy doing because we have a great opportunity to try this game out. 100% free in all its content. Personally, I feel like this game is a subscriptionless R Factor. I feel. It, or a subscriptionless iRacing. Sorry, not R Factor. R Factor is free. This is the same kind of concept where you have to buy all the cars, all the tracks, and stuff like that, but you don't need to pay a monthly subscription. So, with that being said. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, what happened there? I looked away for two seconds. Oh my. Uh, we just got random cars slewed all over the track? What happened? Oh, I can barely turn now. Is there like a caution? Why are these cars so slow at the moment? little confused but we're gonna go take a look at all the content that this game has but I did want to talk to you guys a little bit about what's to come here in the next few months and everything with everything going weird in our world right now with the COVID-19 and know that you know I'm going to be staying home as much as possible personally social distancing myself it's gonna give me plenty of time to bring you guys more and more content with content series I guess I would say because I haven't done an actual series in a very long time my, my content's kind of been not all over the place but it's been random like random I said a Corsa then 
you know, Horizon and stuff like that. It was never like a consistent like, okay, for the next week it's going to be all about this. We're all about this game. I cannot so we're gonna get take a look at all the cars that we can race here in race room. We're gonna just go into the store and give you guys an idea of what you're getting with the chance of trying all this. As you can see, these cars cost a decent amount of money per car. So you have all of these cars, whether it be GT3, GTLM, GTD, uh, you know, GTE, depending on what class. And you have some older cars and stuff like E90 race cars, the whole BMWs. The M235 racing car, the M3 DTM, which is the car I really want to drive, as well as the M4 GT or M4 DTM class cars. I was taking, we were driving the M4 GT4. You have the M6s, of course, the M6 GT3s, and then you have a bunch of Corvettes, Cadillacs, and stuff like that. There is just so many cars, and you get a chance to drive all of these now because Race Room is free to play. Is that a? Is that what I think it is? Looks like a Dodge Challenger or Charger. No, not Charger. Correct me if I'm wrong because I know I was wrong. We got the, McLaren, uh, the McLarens, the Mercedes. There's just so many cars to count. We got Nissans. We got GTRs. We got old Skylines, old R32 race car, bunch of Porsches, old Porsches, new Porsches. Then we have a bunch of front-wheel drive cars and some, you know, the Volvo 240 Turbo. The Volkswagen TCR car, which is also a car that I'm definitely going to want to run, is the TCRs. I love the front-wheel drive TCR series. And these are some of the cars that you get for free. And then, of course, we have some of the tracks. Which, of course, as you can see, if you're buying all the tracks, it's definitely a bit expensive. But we have the chance to drive it all for free. So take an opportunity to actually play the game as it's free for everybody now because I don't know how long it's going to last but if you like the game then maybe you will get into it and enjoy it more but as you can see there's just so many cars so many packs and we get a chance to drive it all for free so big thank you to the devs for making this you know a possible for all of us to actually you know have fun and drive so that'll do it here for this episode make sure you guys stay safe with everything going on I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.